If you guys are new, my name is Dink and I post Disney related videos such as hauls, unboxings, wishables, Funkos, Disney vlogs, you name it, you'll find on this channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I want to take you guys on a little tour of my new Disney shelves. I know I can't stop talking about them, but I just love them so much so I thought I would give you guys a little tour of all the items I have on my shelf, any tips I might have, where I got my shelves, where I got my lighting and all of that jazz. So let's just like jump right in. So here is an overview of my bookshelf that you guys see in my background. I absolutely adore these bookshelves so much. So in my videos, you guys only see these six middle ones right here. Um, but we have other ones to show you. Um, before I get into it though, these bookshelves I got from Ikea. These are the Billy bookshelves. I will link them down below, but I highly, highly recommend to put on post notifications um, on their website to be notified when these come in stock because when they do, they fly off the shelves. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm so glad I picked up two instead of one. I also have these lights here that are in the six shelves that you guys see tend to see in my videos. It is controlled by this remote. So there's different colors you can choose. Basically the whole rainbow from red, blue, orange, yellow, green, purple, and pink. So you can change it with this. Uh, let's see if it works for me on camera to show you guys. There we go. So two of them just turned pink right now. But I normally just keep them on W, which is like the white color, which is the nicest color they look like on camera. So those are those. I will link them in my description box. I got them from Amazon. So we're gonna get into this. I will go over every single shelf, all the items I have in here. So this is definitely gonna be a long one. You might wanna grab a couple of snacks to join me on this little tour of my shelf. We're gonna start from the top and then work our way from left to right to left to right. So let's just get into it. Here is a quick little overview of the top of both of these um, shelves. So let's start over here. I am currently on a step ladder, so I'm <laughs> very scared. Um, but on this corner of the shelf, we have this Disney trivia game. This is probably from, I want to say, like, 90s, early 2000s. This is just a board game me and my family used to play when I was a kid. Um, I still have it. This tin is, like, heavy metal. Unfortunately, I do not have all the pieces to it, but it's something I want to keep probably forever, just for memories. And then on top of that, we have a Mickey Zoom Zoom. Super cute. It's one of, like, the jumbo-ish size ones. Um, he's a little dirty though. <laughs> and then right next to that, we have a Mickey Loungefly. Um, this backpack I got from my dad one Christmas. And it's just Mickey and he just has different colored um, shorts. I love this backpack so much. And then right next to that, we have Mickey himself again. Uh, this is a plushie I got from a recent Disney Store haul. Um, he's super cute and adorable, so he's just sitting there. <laughs> and then right next to that, we have my 50th, like, anniversary Mickey Pops. Right here, I got this for Christmas from Marcus. So you have Crazy Plain Mickey, Classic Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey, Beanstalk Mickey, and then just Mickey Mouse. <laughs> So there is that. And then off to the side, we have another Mickey plushie. I got that like years ago and I'm so glad I kept it because it's super cute. And it just looks perfect right next to this Walt pop that I got for the Disney 65th anniversary with the Sleeping Beauty castle. 
I just love it so much. Here is a overview of my Peter Pan shelf. Super cute. So first thing we have here is this Peter Pan handbag. I got this from one of my friends for my birthday one year. And it's super cute. So shout out Taylor for that. Thank you. Uh, we have Big Ben and gold. And then you have Tinkerbell with a bunch of stars. I love this handbag so much. And then on top of the handbag, we have a cute little Peter Pan Zoom Zooms. Let me know if you guys remember Zoom Zooms. They were like totally in and not so much anymore. <laughs> and then off to the side of the handbag that's kind of hanging off is a Peter Pan hat that Marcus got me from Disneyland one year. I'm not sure when he got it for me. I want to say for maybe like a birthday or something. It just has engraved my name, Dink. I'm not sure if they make these hats anymore. I've heard they haven't. Unfortunately, I don't have the feather. It was a very cheap feather, no offense, and it broke. Right below that, we have my 65th anniversary, like, pops or figurines. So we have Peter and Hook on the Peter Pan's flight ride. Super cute. And yes, they are outside of their box. I just think they're just super adorable and then behind them we have this little setup <laughs> but i have two peter pan books on top of each other um not sure where i got these i think they were gifts um but there's that and then we have a hook funko and then my peter pan funko as if they're kind of dueling it out <laughs> And then over here in this corner is my new wishables. But we have my new Disneyland 65th anniversary Peter Pan pop that is still in the box. He's super angry. <laughs> and then we have my Peter wishable, the little ship. And then up top we have Wendy and Nana. So there's my Peter Pan shelf. So right next to my Peter shelf, we have my Marvel Couple Fungo Pop collection that I'm currently collecting. <laughs> I will link that video up above so you guys can check out. Um, but first couple we have here is Ant-Man and Wasp. These are the Chase versions of these pops. And I just have their box right behind them. And then next couple we have is Agent Carter and Captain America, of course. And I have Agent Carter's box right behind them. And then my newest addition to this collection is Gambit and Rogue. I love them so much. Um, my Gambit, unfortunately, is broken. He's supposed to be holding a card right here, but oh well. He is supposed to go in the dark, but I haven't seen him go in the dark or tried to see if he does, um, but that's okay. And then they have their boxes right behind them as well. And then next couple we have is Wanda and Vision. This is the 50s pops. And this Vision pop is the Chase version. And then I have his box right behind them. And then last couple I have is Iron Man and Rescue. And then I just have their boxes right behind them as well and then on the very top of these boxes i have these two small fungo pops um i got this in the advent calendar for christmas and it's just gwen and miles i hope to get bigger versions of them and i hope to collect more marvel couples but i know my shelf will need some rearranging or i'm gonna have to put some couples on top of these boxes um but yeah, these are my Marvel Couple Funko Pop collection. Next shelf we have here is my Darth Vader shelf. And if you know me, you know I love Darth Vader. So let's start in this corner right here. I'm just gonna, just gonna move this guy. <laughs> But off in this corner, we have a Darth Vader purse crossbody. This is a Fungo Pop crossbody. 
and it came with this little Darth Vader pin and this crossbody you can actually put pins on it so if you see the little holes this is a bag where you can display your pins on um i've always just left that same old pin on there i don't have any star wars ones that i know of <laughs> and then down below here we have a disney key this is the star wars one i actually got it on sale at an outlet store it is blue i wish it was red but it still makes sense guys if you think about it Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber is blue, so it still makes sense. <laughs> and then right in front of this bag, we have this Darth Vader pop. This is a red one. As you guys can see, it is a Target exclusive pop. Marcus got me this one day just like randomly. Thankful he did because I absolutely love the red. And then next to that one, we have this pop. You guys can probably see me um but this is a sounds and it makes sounds and lights Darth Vader pop I got this at the Funko Hollywood um store so there's that one and then behind there in the back you guys can see I have this Darth Vader heart tin there's no chocolate in it I ate it all but I cleaned it and I have it in display in the background and then in front of that we have this Darth Vader mug I got this for Christmas one year from my older sister, Sarah. Super cute. And then right beside that, we have a Darth Vader helmet. This one does have the theme where like it, it changes your voice to Darth Vader. Fun fact, guys. Um, Marcus and I, when we first started dating, we went to raves and I wore this to a rave. Um, insert picture here, but yeah, we dressed up as Kylo Ren and Darth Vader, so that's the same helmet I wore to a rave once, so yeah, there is my Darth Vader shelf. So next to Darth Vader is my favorite man, which is Captain America. Here's a little overview of my Captain America shelf. Love it so much. So starting over here, we have this Captain America like shield coaster. Um, I got that one year for Christmas from my older brother, Robbie. Love this coaster. I've used it in the past and it holds up so well. Now it's display. <laughs> Next to that, I have a Captain America hat with his shield on it, super cute. And then down below here, we have a Captain America pop, Funko pop. I got this in the advent calendar um, as well. And then next to that, we have the Winter Soldier Funko I recently got. This is from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Definitely let me know if you guys have seen the first episode. <laughs> no spoilers, please. Um, I did pre-order the Falcon one where he's like flying, so hopefully I get that soon. And then on top of that, we have this Captain America mug, and then a Captain America zoom zoom. Super cute. Absolutely love it. And then in the back here, we have some Captain America ears mini ears I got a couple years ago. I wore them when I went to Walt Disney World. And then in front of that, we have my Captain America Endgame Funko, where he's holding the shield and the hammer. Love this Funko so much. You want to display it outside of the box. Unfortunately, he doesn't stand on his own, so I need to get some like sticky stuff, whatever tack stuff, to um, put him on to stay stable, if that makes any sense. And then I have this Funko Pop pin of Captain America. And then at the end of the shelf, we have my Build-A-Bear Cap. His name is Cap. And he's blue and he has just a bunch of Captain America shields all over him, super cute. Absolutely love him. He's he a little dirty too. And then between him, I have my Captain America fig pin that I won in a giveaway from Josh Goes to Disney. 
So there's my Captain America shelf. So I do hope in the future to make a Falcon and Winter Soldier shelf, or I will put Winter and Falcon on this side and put all my Captain America stuff on this side. I'm just waiting on my Falcon pop and I'm hoping to purchase the Winter Soldier backpack, lounge fly, or the Falcon one. So I'm hoping to have a shelf for them on their own. Next shelf we have is my Tinkerbell shelf. Probably one of my favorites, if I'm being biased. <laughs> but here's my Tinkerbell shelf. She's a little empty, but I hope to collect more items. But starting off in this little corner, you guys can probably see me. Um, I have my Tinkerbell Funko Pop. This is a limited edition one. It is a Christmas Tinkerbell. So I'll show you guys the side of it. This is what she looks like. She is in a protective um, box container because she is signed and it says to Dink from Margaret Carey Tinkerbell. So if you guys don't know who Margaret Carey is, she is the, she was the Tinkerbell reference model that the Disney, um, that Disney used. And I have a signed photo of her right here as well. So that is Margaret Carey. That is a reference scene from when Tink got stuck in the little drawer. <laughs> so super cute. I love these items so much and I'm so glad to have them in my collection. And then down below here, we have this glass Tinkerbell with um, her sitting on a little um, block and it does spell out Tinkerbell. So T I. Okay, it is magnetic as well. This is a salt and pepper shaker actually that I got in a bibbity box. So um, yeah, super cute. <laughs> and then right here we have one of my first pops I've ever received or bought. <laughs> and it is this Tinkerbell pop, I absolutely love it. And then behind her we have my Tinkerbell um, animated, um, animation stall. I believe this one was like one of the first ones they put out um, because I think her dress is a little different now. Uh, they updated them and she has like a little bit of purple in her dress. So this is like an original one. I got this one year for a birthday from my mom and she's just holding a little TikTok, a little plushie. Um, but there she is. Her bangs are not as they used to be. Her bangs, they look like a little weird, but her bangs used to like curl up more and her bangs used to be up more, but obviously they've defeated over time. <laughs> and then on this side, we have a Tinkerbell gym shore that I got in a bibbity box. She's just sitting on this cute little heart. I absolutely love it. So sassy. And then we have this Tinkerbell mug and it has like sketches of Tinkerbell all around it. Super cute. And then inside of the mug, we have a Tinkerbell Zoom Zoom. As you guys can tell, I used to have an obsession with Zoom Zooms and now they're like discontinued, I believe. <laughs> and then in the back here, we have my Tinkerbell ears. I won this in a giveaway as well. And um, by the real, the real Explorer, Explorer ears, um, I'll link her stuff down below if you guys are interested, but these are freaking adorable and I love them so much. So there is my Tinkerbell shelf. So next to my Tinkerbell shelf, we have my Mickey Disneyland themed shelf, <laughs> if that makes any sense. We have a lot of items on this one. So as you guys have noticed, some, some of the shelves have quite a bit of items and others don't. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it. So I might have to move some things around so you guys can see, but starting off in this corner, I have this Disney 65th anniversary kind of metal lunchbox. I got this at Target. I'm so glad I picked it up because I absolutely adore it and I love the colors of it. Super cute. And then sitting on top of the lunchbox, we have a couple of wishables. We have the Space Mountain Mickey one where he looks extremely angry for some reason. And then we have Minnie and Mickey, of course. These are newly addition to my Wishable collection. Absolutely love them. And then in front of that, 
We have a Sorcerer Mickey pop that I got from Funko Hollywood, I believe. And he's just super cute. And above that, we have the 65th anniversary Mickey where he is riding Matterhorn. He's, he's having a blast. It's so cute. And then on attached to the lunchbox, I did not point out, but I have my Disneyland AP um, magnet. I have a ton of these ones. These are just like the simple classic ones. So there's that. And then below that, we have Mickey and Goofy riding on Dumbo. This is probably the 65th anniversary figuring pops that they released. I got these at Target. And then we have my Mickey and Minnie new emo, super cute. These are their new outfits that were released for March. They're absolutely adorable and they just, they just chill right here and chill in the background <laughs> of my videos. So I'm gonna move them aside a little bit. And then right here we have this Disney postcard I got at Wonderground Gallery. Super cute, it has Matterhorn, in the background with Dumbo, Peter Pan, Wendy, you got Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> and then you have Tinkerbell right there. And then you have the monorail just passing through. You got Daisy, Goofy, Donald, Minnie, Pluto, and Mickey riding in it. Super cute. And then at the bottom you have some mermaids. And then if you look closely in the submarine you have Pinocchio, Figaro, and Cleo, which is adorable. I love this postcard and I just framed it. Super cute. And then right beside that we have Alice and the Cheshire Cat in the teacups. This was also part of the 65th anniversary pops figurines that they released. I got these both at Target. And then they're sitting on top of this Mickey Funko Pop I have. This is like the first one they've ever released of him. So he just stays in his little box. And then in front of that as well, we have the 65th anniversary pin. I got this at Downtown Disney, super cute. I love it so much. And then next to that, we, oh, my new emos don't wanna stay. Um, and then next to that, we have the Sleeping Beauty cookie jar. I got this at World of Disney in Downtown Disney. Absolutely love it. There's nothing inside of it. It's just here for display. It's super cute. And then on top of that, we have a Mickey and Minnie Zoom Zoom just chilling on the top. And then off to the corner, we have my new AP Disneyland magnet. This is for the 65th anniversary that I decided to display on here. So that is my Disney Mickey shelf disneyland mickey shelf if that makes any sense with hints of mini of course so next shelf we have is my avengers Gert shelf it's kind of empty but that's totally okay <laughs> um first off we have my avengers Assemble Funko Pop collection. This was released last year. So um, you have all the original Avengers. So Hawkeye, Thor, Black Widow, Captain America, Iron Man, and Hulk. So they just display right there. They, have, they do come off a little bit of the shelf, but that's totally okay. And then right here off to the side facing them is Thanos. I got this pop at Funko Hollywood, so he's just standing in front of them as if he's gonna fight them, which is really cool. That's, I love that it's displayed like that. So there's that. And then down below, we have a mini pop of Groot and Rocket. They're super cute and I love them so, so much. That was part of the Avid calendar as well. And then we have Groot right here. This is those like park pals like shoulder pals um i got this at dca I believe they still have some of him maybe at world of disney but he's super cute and then down below we have little groot he's so adorable this is a pop so stinking cute and then behind them is this avengers endgame backpack i got this for christmas one year for my older brother 
and it has a bunch of the Avengers on there like Ant-Man, Captain America, Hulk, Thanos, Rocket, you know, Thor, even Nebula, and like all the Avengers, Black Widow, it's so cool, I love it so much. And then on top of there, just hanging out, is a grilled Zoom Zoom. <laughs> so there's my Avengers um, shelf. I definitely hope to expand it some more. It's a little plain, but that's totally okay. So next to my Avengers shelf is my Rapunzel and Coco shelf. And you can see it's, a, it's getting a little crowded on this shelf. Um, but in my Rapunzel section, here's a little overview of that so in this corner we have this lounge fly it is rapunzel's dress or themed after it it's super cute i love it so so much i probably will never use this bag because it's just it's just so stunning and i don't ever want to get it dirty and then right below that we have these little figurines they're actually i think like from funko um pop so yeah, I think it's just inspired by the little animated series on Disney+. Plus. So you have Flynn Rider and Rapunzel. I love that her hair kind of like wraps around him. It's kind of cool. Super cute. And then next to that, we have my Rapunzel Funko Pop with her holding the lantern. I love this pop so much. And I love the flowers in her hair. Super cute. And then besides that, we have this little um, Rapunzel, it's like an ornament that I got in a blind bag uh, for Christmas last year. And then behind that, we have a Rapunzel Jim Shore, and she's holding her little paint palette. It's super cute. I love it so much. The details are absolutely amazing. There's so many Rapunzel and Tangled Jim Shores that I want. Like, I want more. So, um, yeah. And then behind her, we have a villain's book. Um, there's like a collection series of all of them, but only, I only have this one. I haven't read it yet because you have to read it in a certain order. But this is the Mother Gothel one. I think it says like Mother Knows Best is the title of it. Um, but I have that. And then next to that, we have this little postcard with Eugene and Rapunzel and it's the scene with the lanterns that I always cry about but it's super cute I love it so much and I just have it framed there and now this is a little overview of my Coco side so yeah it's getting a little crowded so I think I'm gonna have to eventually have my own Coco shelf and Rapunzel one just so we can space out some items um, but we have a Pepita Funko Pop right here. I love Pepita so much. She's so stinking cute and I just oh, I love it. So next to Pepita, I have this little figurine. It was technically, I think, a cat, but I just pretend that it was a dog. The tail is missing from it because my cat chewed it off. Little booger. Um, but I got this at the Mexico Pavilion at Epcot when I went to Walt Disney World. Um, but there's that, and then we have my Coco Wishables. So we have Hector, we have Miguel, and Dante, just kind of chilling, super cute. And then behind them, we have, I believe these are like the Mexico Pavilion ears. I could be totally wrong, but I love these ears. They're stunning and beautiful, definitely one of my favorites. And then behind that, I have a cocoa bag. I really don't want to move everything to get it out, but it's super cute and I love it so, so much. And then above the bag, we have a Pepita and Dante Wishable. And then the, da and the Dante Wishable is the Chase version of him. So there is my Coco and Rapunzel shelf. So next shelf we have here is my Nightmare Before Christmas shelf. So off in the corner we have this tarot card um, purse handbag that I got in a bibbidi box. Super cute. So it has all the characters like Sally, Jack, and Oogie Boogie on it. 
super cute. I just love that even on the tarot cards, it'll say like Sally is the queen and Jack is the king and everything, super cool. And then inside the purse kind of painting now is my Oogie Boogie magnet that I got at the Oogie Boogie Halloween bash. And then my AP um, magnet as well. They're just like sticking out of it. <laughs> and then right in front of that, we have this Oogie Boogie sipper. I got this in the Bibbidi box for Halloween. I love it so much. He does light up as well. And then next to him, I have this Sally. Funko Pop, I love it so, so, so much. She's so stinking cute. Unfortunately, I don't have like a Jack one. I need one so they can be together. Um, but in the background, we have a Vampire Teddy plushie. I love the Vampire Teddy. I've always wanted a Vampire Teddy and you know, finally have one as an adult. Next to the Vampire Teddy, we have this Oogie Boogie lounge fly it's super cute it has like all his bugs hanging out of him it's so cool and this bag actually glows in the dark as well perfect for halloween i used it in um the fall time last year and i just love it so much and then underneath him we have these little Funko Pops. These are from an avid calendar I had last year during Christmas time. So you have, we have Lock, Barrel, and Shock. Super cute. I love them. My favorite one is Barrel, of course. He's so stinking cute with his lollipop. And then besides them is these Oogie Boogie dice. These dice actually glow in the dark. I got these at DCA. They came with like a drink. The drink was like honestly not that good, but I got the drink because I wanted the dice. So there's that. <laughs> but this is my nightmare before Christmas shelf. And next to my nightmare before her Christmas shelf, we have my wishables. They're just kind of like chilling here. I do want to like display them a little bit more like better honestly because they're just chilling here um but i have some aladdin ones so we have aladdin genie and jasmine <laughs> i'm gonna have to move these ones to get them out of the way <laughs> sorry um here are my monsters ink ones so we have ross this is the chase version of ross where she's wearing her cda outfit then we have Mike Wazowski. We have the little um, vehicle from the ride at DCA. And then we have Boo and Sully. And then I have my Toy Story ones. So I have Jesse, Mr. Potato Head, and Woody. And then the ones I just knocked down are my Inside Out ones. So these ones are like kind of currently my favorite ones. I don't have all of them, but we have Anger, Sadness, Joy, and Beam Bond. So I am missing Disgust and Fear, and I hope to get them in the future. But currently, they just sit here. These are not all my wishables. I have other wishables around my house, but um, they just chill here. So, yeah. Now we're at my two bottom shelves. <laughs> and they're not currently decorated at all. <laughs> Currently, they're just storage. <laughs> so on this side, we have some fungal pops that I have that are still in their box. So we have a Scarlet Witch one, which is part of the 80th anniversary Marvel series. And then we have Black Widow and Wolverine. And then next to them, we have my fruit basket one. So we have Keo with his cat and then Toru. Um, I don't have a place to display them yet. So they just kind of just chill here. Then I just have this Funko bag. <laughs> and then down here we have my Victory Schwama pop. This is the Bruce Banner one. I'm currently just waiting for the next one, which is Tony Stark. So he's just chilling there until I can complete all of them and get them and connect them all. So he just chills there. And then we have this shelf. So on the shelf, we have a couple of empty Funko Pop boxes that just kind of sit there. So we have my Peter Pan one, my Darth Vader one, and my Thanos one. And then we have some Wishables. So these are just Wishables that I currently 
am looking for someone to take them off my hands. Um, these are trade wishables and then they have like a trade pin up there. So I just keep that stuff here at the time being. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what shelf is your favorite or what item you saw that I have is your favorite. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And I'll catch up with you guys next time. Bye! Love them so much so much i love these are my marvel funko pops couple mm. <laughs> they me randomly because it was a starbucks a starbucks wow skin in winter show winter <laughs> and then all my cap stuff oh my god my stomach <laughs> oh my god <laughs>